I'm going to show you how to flash your torch router with PCWRT. So let's get started. PCWRT is a really, really good router. Now, I've just come across it within the last month, and uh, here's some prices on Amazon. So, 129 is for the AC network, and just for the end, they're 100 bucks. So, they're really, really good routers. You know, the, the GUI, the interface, the user interface. Uh, let you do a lot of stuff Let's talk about the torch router though. The torch router is hardware that went out of business So it was around in 2015 I believe or 2014 is when they um, Started and you can pick one up at Walmart for 55 bucks, but go to eBay or Amazon You can get them for look 10 8 you know around 8 to 20 dollars you can pick one up and what was good about these routers was well when they went dark they were cloud-based service and they had parental control you can go in there and you know limit the amount of internet time for your kids and a whole bunch of other stuff but when they went out of business you know their web page went down and everything was gone but PCWRT has the same setup I mean you can do that and so much more and their interface like I said was just it shows you your signal strength I mean it, it, it shows you a lot I mean I, I was blown away by what um, the router can do or the the user interface is and again so let me show you so that's that we went over that let me pull up um, this free software so IN SSID is a free software that you can use so when you're you know wanting to create your home network you can use this tool and it will you know show you a lot of different information on how you know what channel your neighbors on and so on you know what kind of signal strength you're getting and what you're paying for you know those are the big questions that people want want to know you know is my ISP my internet service provider you know is he like or they are they giving me what I'm paying for um, so as you can see I've already flashed it as you can see here it says PCWRT 2 gigahertz um, it is a 5 gigahertz the only reason it says 2 gigahertz is because this kind of router only has one port so it doesn't have multiple you know 1 gigahertz ports it just has one but you can get a splitter and, and run other uh, wired devices as you like if you like but um, what this router does if you click on this 2 gigahertz let me see so it, it shows 5 gigahertz because that's what I'm running it I'm currently on a 5 gigahertz I got a little adapter with this laptop that lets me run at 5 gigahertz but like I said the reason it's displaying um, 2.5 is if you're on your cell phone or something that only supports 2 2.4 gigahertz it's gonna switch back and forth depending on where you're at in the house so that's how the torch router was designed but now that you know we're flashing it over to PCWRT it opens up a whole bunch of other stuff but what I wanted to show you was look 13 megabytes per second that is great that's like a high-end you know a hundred dollar router nowadays and if you can pick one of these up for under 20 bucks at e you know on eBay and you know you're getting those kind of speeds and you're getting dual band just by this simple little flash uh, then by all means you know I mean grab it that's what I did you know so let me show you what I'm currently running at this is my home router it only gets 8.6.6 I mean 866.7 megabytes so again that torch router has got good hardware I believe it's probably a dual core you know it's probably um, I know it's better than my uh, Netgear 1200 I also have an access point set up here which runs about the same it's 13 C 13 megabyte and that's a newer um, that's a $200 um, extender so again I just wanted to show you that for the sake of the hardware so you know that these torch routers are very capable uh, let me open up the tutorial what you can do I'm gonna leave links for all this but you can just google my torch router to PCWRT uh, again I think I talked about it. these are good expensive routers on Amazon for the average Joe you know that 
just not a gamer or enthusiast or nothing like that just wants a good solid network uh, this is a cheap workaround okay so how to flash the reason I'm making this video guys because I couldn't find any video on how to do this there's just this tutorial so first thing you do is download the firmware which I've already did click click on the here it's gonna be a little slower it's, it's probably not gonna pop up <laughs> I wonder why I mean I already have it but oh my uh, this is open this has to be closed when you're running any kind of you know when you're monitoring your network you need to close close it off before you try to access the internet or access your routers because this here you know sends a direct um, signal to that so let me shut that down close the program and we'll try it again all right so now download the firmware image from here so okay but I've already got it that's what's gonna say factory torch dot bin okay then pumpkin you can click on that and it'll take you to get pumpkin so depending on what you're gonna be running hopefully it is a Windows I would get this you can get this zip and then extract it but you know just grab this executable so it's gonna be pumpkin 2.7.3 exe click on that and it will prompt you to download it Let's see say where you want to download it. you can save it anywhere your desktop or whatever as you can see I've already got all that stuff there and that's that so now let's go back to the tutorial real quick and I'll just go off of this so after you've got this installed you need to configure your Ethernet address because we're going to be running from our computer or your, you know, whatever you have your laptop. Uh, make sure it has an Ethernet port. So um, you're going to need that and, and a wire, Ethernet wire, and you're going to need to be plugged into your torch router with the power on. And your plug is going to be in your local area network, the one with the without the globe. I'll show you in a little more detail here in a minute so we're going to open up windows and we're going to make sure we're going to go into our the easiest way to do that is follow my mouse come down here to our little wi-fi signal and right click and then open network and internet settings and once you've done that you can go here right below show available networks it should say if you're running windows 10 which i hope you are uh, change adapter options double click or click and should produce whatever you're you know so this is my 5 gigahertz that's not connected um, I could connect it that's 2.4 but again uh, you need to be on Ethernet so when you get on this right click go to properties and then make sure the first thing is make sure internet protocol version 4 TCP forward slash IPv4 comma is checked so mine's already checked I'm gonna check it again and once that's done double click this or hit it you know once you've double clicked it it's gonna already produce um, this so yours is gonna be blank yours is not gonna have so yours is gonna be just like this obtain an IP address automatically you're gonna come down and click use the following IP address again this is all from this tutorial so that's we've already done that second step come down here we change our IP to it's going to be that to use the following 1.2.9 so I'll show you so we're going to do 192.168.99 and then if yours don't want to automatically do it come over here and click and then put the 8 now once it's just like that 1.2 I mean 192.168 then you gotta have a dot nine nine then dot dot eight come down to where it says subnet mask and put your mouse in there and click and it will pre-populate the two two five two two five two two five dot whatever zero and then that's it use the following DNS server address don't mess with none of that just click OK okay okay 
now that's done you can close this or whatever the next thing is go into your Windows firewall and because of course we got pumpkin already installed see there's pumpkin there's well that's that hardware thing but go in your search bar on Windows and type in Windows or you can do it uh, any kind of way but I type in let me take off caps Windows firewall maybe Windows firewall it's already up because I was just in it but search around and you'll see allow an app through Windows firewall click on that and then you should see a bunch of you know um, programs that that you have on your desktop so find pumpkin pumpkin should you know it's alphanumeric so I mean alphabetical order so find the P's and this won't be checked again come down here and check it and you know private public depending on your network so if you're at you know I've got I'm on a local network but you know you, if wherever you're at you know you can check both of them private whatever that doesn't really make a difference I don't think but as long as you have that checked okay next step okay that's checked now we're gonna come into pumpkin which is that software and then it says set up TFTP so that's another file transfer protocol like FTP I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that you know sending pages back and forth is this is a, a similar thing this was created a long time ago I, I read up on most of this because <laughs> you know I was interested but um, you're gonna open up pumpkin so we're gonna do that let's open up pumpkin again I recommend that executable file and then make sure the path is where you have that house that torch what is it let me see torch dot let me move this over cancel that so it's in my downloads so that's where I downloaded pumpkin this is Sam this is the torch factory torch dot bin so make sure the path that you choose in pumpkin is that so see I'm in the C drive my user Sam work that's the name of the pro the computer downloads and then you want to come in here and hit browse and you want to go to wherever that is right so if it's in your downloads click on that right and then go to that and then that so that's it and then once it's in the file once you have the file the folder rather where that file is in then you hit OK right and then you just click OK and pumpkin installed successfully you may now run it for alright so hit OK OK so hit the executable file and there's pumpkin OK so we're here I can close that out and let's see what the tutorial is next I want to show you guys step by step so after you've installed it the right file path and all that you take your Ethernet cable which I have here this yellow cord that you guys see and it's going into they want it into the reason I got I had mine into the wide into mine was to show you the strength of this router but they want you to put it in not the one with the globe but this one here so plug it in there and then get get a pin or something I like to use this a little bitty uh, phone um, sim card tray thing remover and it has a button but they want you to you know use a pin so or I like to use a pin so then it says press and hold reset on the torch router you may need to use a pin then connect the power cable keep so I'm gonna unplug my power cable because I had it plugged in when I was showing you the sh the hardware specs or the megabytes per second of the torch uh, and then it says keep holding the button for about five seconds then let go the torch router will try to download firmware from your PC You'll see the prompt. So we'll see. We'll see all this run. 
and we're going to grant access and all that. So and that should be it. Wait for about five minutes and then you should be able to connect and you should see W, I mean PCWRT and that's successful. So let me close that down and I'm gonna, so I'm already connected. I got my power. Now I'm going to plug my power in. Wait, I forgot this step, guys. What does it say here? It says press and hold the reset button on a torch. Maybe, okay, the, connect your computer. Okay, that's it. Press and hold the reset button. Okay, so you got to hold the button while you're sticking the power in there. kind of tricky maybe you can have somebody help you when it comes to holding this down there's a little thing there and once you do that maybe you can use a pen too guys but I'm gonna use my fingernail come down I'm gonna I'm going to hold this. Get All right. So you should see this. Grant access. I got my finger on the... I got the power connector plugged in and my finger on the reset bus button. I'm going to hit grant access. Okay. Go to options here. Oh, yeah. This is a step I wanted to show you. So make sure in here you, you find the file path. That's the step I forgot. Sorry about that. So... Go down here to downloads. I did. I showed you this, but I show. I didn't show it to you inside a pumpkin. So click on that, then hit OK. Now make sure you're plugged in. Uh, yeah, I, I was wondering why that was. I know, like I said, this is already flashed to to the pumpkin firmware, but we should see it run it again. So I'm gonna hold my finger again on the reset button plug the power cord in and there we go and then hit grant access and it should see that that's what we wanted I kinda got it a little mixed up but so right now it's just flashing my firmware again no big deal <clears throat> so wait until that's you know done keep your finger on that button all right now you can let go of the reset button and you should see your torch router light up then let's go over here to the next step says the torch router will try to download the prompt and download grant access we did that wait about five minutes and then if you can see the PCWRT Wi-Fi signal you have succeeded so let's see let's close that out we're gonna open up our SS insider or SSID or insider Or I can show it to you. Let's see. If you hear something in the background, guys, that's my dog. Okay, so see, there it is. That's our network there. View that. And that's, that's it. So we're in good shape. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you know it helped you. Again, I'll leave links for all the 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 two things that you really need is the pumpkin and the um, the firmware. So, with that said, guys, have a great day, and talk to you soon. you
get to hear me now.